Good day folks and welcome to this video tutorial. What I'm going to do today is show you how to get rid of this shine. The reason I'm doing that is because I have a web page on my graphics tablet site about getting rid of shine and it is the top searched out page on my site. It's even more popular than black and white conversions and uh, you know that's amazing. So this is how you do it. First you create a new layer right there, bingo, and you set the layer blending mode to darken. Okay, there it is, darken. Now I'm going to move that out of the way. Now on the site I tell you to use the healing brush tool, I'm going to use the clone tool. Just because the clone tool is on pretty much every version of Photoshop. When you set your, select the uh, clone tool, across the top you've got some check boxes aligned and use all layers, check both of them. Now because I'm using a Wacom tablet, I will alt click there and I've got my clone tool set for opacity so the harder I press the darker it'll get. I suspect that this is a flare from a flash. It looks like a flash was used on this photograph. You can see I'm just gradually taking away that that uh, that nasty little highlight there. And there it's almost gone. There, that was quick. Now if we wanted to we could come down here to her cheek and uh, and get rid of some of that that little uh, bit of shine that's going on there. And it's not too much. You really don't have to do an awful lot to make this work. Most of the techniques you use in Photoshop really are subtle techniques. You're just changing a little thing a little bit and I always have trouble with the nose. I create these goofy lines. I better stop or I'm going to make too many of them. So that's really it. It's a very simple straightforward technique. Uh, this is before and this is after. So let's do something else here because we've got time and we're having fun so let's just carry on. I have a friend who's a professional model photographer and he said that what you gotta do is make the eyes sparkle in a, in a picture like this. So I'm going to select my magnetic selector tool and I'm going to press the caps lock because with a graphics tablet, a Wacom tablet, the magnetic selector tool with the caps lock on is a is a pressure sensitive one and you can see what that means as I press harder the area that it's it's sampling is getting smaller so let's get around here quickly this is not a lot of fun just watching someone select things and we'll make sure we get into there oops There we go. Hand key or the space bar to get uh, across to the next one. What would I do? Okay. Now press the shift key because we're doing more than one selection. We're adding to it. And there and over back. Okay. So I should have two now. Well, what happened to my first one? Let's zip around there again. Don't you hate when that happens? You do such a good job. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to Control or Command J, depending on whether your Windows or Mac. Now I have a new layer. And there's my new layer. And it's layer 2. So if I take this off and I take this off... Come on, get off there. That's what we have. So let's bring back the background and we're going to go to Filter, Sharpen, Unsharp Mask. And as you move this slider around it gets sharper or not sharper and it does all kinds of goofy things to pixels and stuff. Uh, typically you want to make it high because it's such a small area. So there we go. We say okay. Now there's, there's her eyes. Maybe that's a bit too much but uh, we'll live with it. Take it off. Put it on take the shine. Okay, so we're, we're coming along quite nicely with this photograph. Original, get rid of the shine, make the eyes sparkle. Well, we're here. Let's do one more thing. Let's fix up the teeth. And maybe it was just simply a, a lighting problem. But what we're going to do is add a new layer. And it's going to be a soft light layer. Right there and you fill the soft light layer with 50% gray and you tap OK. 
Now you make your default colors black and white by hitting the D key, then you hit the X key if your white's not in the front or the foreground, you hit X to get it there. Okay, now I'm going to take this caps lock off so I have a circle. Make my brush just a titch bigger. Okay, now I'm just going to move around these teeth. And what this soft light layer is doing is just brightening up a little bit in the area that I'm that I'm working. And I've got the brush set still for opacity, so the harder I press, the darker it'll get. If I press hard, I get that. But that makes unnatural looking things. Unless you're, of course, of course, unless you're uh, on TV and a, and a commercial, then you can have these painfully white teeth that, you know, almost you have to wear sunglasses to watch them. Okay, we're going to get a bit smaller for the back ones, and then we'll look at our at our efforts here. Yeah, there's one back there, and one back there. Okay, so that was the the teeth fixing. See, that's a you can be a digital hygienist. So we're going to back this out. So now all our layers are on. That's our final, our final treatment of this shot. And let's take the layers off, put them back on, and then we'll stop doing this. Okay. Uh, take them off one at a time. Okay. So this is our original picture. First thing we did, we got rid of shine by using a a layer with the darken blending mode. Then we sharpened the eyes, and then we cleaned up her teeth. And that's it. That's three little things we did, three subtle small things that we did that made a big difference in this photograph. So I appreciate you watching and uh, look forward to seeing you again or having you see me again do this. And please uh, take some time, drop around to my site and uh, prowl around, see what you can see. And I would appreciate that. So take care and have a great day. Bye now.